up guys, Roman here from Tech Guides, and today I just have a very short video for those of you who have followed my how to install Nextcloud Hub on Ubuntu video to set up your Nextcloud instance on your home server. Now with the latest Nextcloud version 21.0.3, there appears to be some issue with the APCU caching method that I showed in my Nextcloud tutorial video. Now, besides the cron job, which is not going to work anymore, you'll also see this error here. As soon as you try to run, for example, a file scan command on the Nextcloud directory, you can see it kind of froze the memcache, not available for local caching error, uh, which is also because of the same issue. So in today's video, I just very quickly wanted to show you how to fix this issue. Now, there are two possible solutions to this issue. The first one is actually super easy. Simply change directory to etc. PHP, your PHP version, and then into the mods available directory. And here, using uh, sudo and a text editor, for example, nano, edit the apcu.ini file and add this line apcu.enable underscore CLI equals one. Now, what this setting does is it runs APC in its CLI mode. Now, from what I understand, this mode really is more meant for testing purposes rather than a production environment. And therefore, I don't really like this option so much. But if you want a very quick fix for this issue, simply add this line to the apcu.ini file, save it using control X, Y and enter, type sudo service Apache 2 restart. And as you can see, I can again run the file scan command. So this OCC command in the next cloud directory, uh, which also means that the cron job is also going to work once again. Now, while this workaround solves the problem, um, as I mentioned, it's really only more of a workaround than a proper solution to the problem. Um, so in the second part, I'd like to show you how to set up Redis as a memcache for your Nextcloud instance, which is in my opinion, the preferred caching method for your Nextcloud instance. First of all, you can check if you already have a Redis server up and running um, by simply typing PS, AX, then a vertical line, grab Redis. As you can see, all that we get is that we just looked for this command, but it's actually nothing running on the server. So we first have to install Redis before we can actually use it. So to do that, we'll uh, run a sudo apt update, followed by a sudo apt upgrade. Then we'll install the Redis server, as well as PHP Redis. And if we run the command that I showed before again, then you can see that the Redis server is already up and running. Next, we'll have to add the Apache user to the Redis group. We can do this using sudo usermod a capital G Redis www data. Finally, we'll want to reload Apache. And that is it. Now, the final thing that we have to do is to just change some settings in the Nextcloud configuration file and we're ready to go. So let's change directory to war www nextcloud config and edit the config PHP file. And here we want to replace the line that says memcache.local uh, equals memcache apcu with the following couple of lines. First of all, we want to enable file locking, which essentially makes sure that we won't end up with corrupted files. Then we want to specify the local memcache service as OCC memcache Redis. For locking, we'll use Redis as well. And finally, we'll have to specify that Redis is running on our local host. So 127.0.0.1 is the local host, as well as on the standard port of 6,379, unless you change the port settings in the Redis configuration file. Next, we can simply control X, Y, enter. I also like to do a sudo service Apache 2 restart. And now you should be able to scan files again and the cron job should also be able to run again in the background. And that's it, you're now successfully running Redis as a file caching server, which should hopefully make your Nextcloud instance feel a little bit more snappy. And those background cron jobs are hopefully also going to work once again on Nextcloud version 21.0.3. If you still have any questions, then don't hesitate to leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Subscribe for more Linux related tutorials like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.